one in eight women will get breast cancers in their life. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Bhuvan Chog, Consultant Medical Oncology at Max Super Specialty Hospital, Saket. I'm part of the breast disease management group and I'm supposed to be looking after the chemotherapy part of the breast cancers. Today we're going to talk about the lifestyle factors associated with breast cancers. What we are seeing is a lot many younger women are getting breast cancers. They are able to pick up this cancer at an early stage. As a matter of fact, 80% of the women who present with breast cancers have picked up that lump by themselves. That goes to say that they're aware. We are aware about that, you know, there's a lump in the body and this can be cancer. What we also need to be aware about is the factors which have led to that lump. These factors can be modifiable factors and non-modifiable factors. The modifiable factors are your lifestyle factors, the way you live your life, the way you choose to live your life. Among them, the first is a healthy lifestyle in which you have a rigorous physical activity or a regular physical activity. You are able to control your weight, you are able to control your diet, the diet which doesn't have a regular high amount of alcohol consumptions. The other is the smoking, which has a significant impact in the or has an association with breast cancers. The third is the weight of the person. You know, obesity has been associated with breast cancers. There are certain non-modifiable factors. These are an early onset of menarche, that is your periods. If you had an onset of periods before nine years, and if you had an onset of you know stopping of periods happen after five years, after 55 years, you're at a slightly higher risk, but then you cannot do anything about it. However, when it comes to pregnancy, somebody who has chosen not to get pregnant or somebody who's had a pregnancy after 35 years of age. There's an increased risk of breast cancers there. Then we're also talking about the genes in the breast cancer. You know, if you should be aware that, you know, if there is a, if there is a family history of breast cancer, such as your mother or your maternal aunt has had a breast cancer or a ovarian cancer, if your mama has had a prostate or a pancreatic cancer, you should be aware about it and you should request them to get tested for the hereditary genes which may have passed down to you and may be associated with the younger onset cancer. So it goes to say that, you know, as we see more and more younger people coming to us with cancer who are aware about it, it's obviously that we're able to reduce the risk or reduce the mortality or the death associated with it. So the only way forward is that we be aware and be safe about it. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.